Welcome to Rehabilitoy. Hello, Alan here with Rehabilitoy. Wanted to do just a quick little video where I show some of the vehicles with the craziest colors. Uh, this is one that I picked up recently. It's a pink Jeep 4x4 from Matchbox. I really like the color on this casting. Uh, pink, of course, but it's more of a matte finish pink uh, than your typical paint color. Let me pull that up here so you can see it up close. So kind of a matte finish as opposed to a high gloss finish. I thought I'd show you some of the, the cars in my collection that have just crazy paint jobs on them. I'm sorry I didn't have time to go through and look up the names of all the castings, so if it doesn't have the name on the bottom, uh, I'm not going to be able to uh, to tell you what it is. I'm sure you can look it up, or you probably just know. You know them better than I do. All right, the next one I thought uh, that was interesting and also a favorite because it's one of the new moving parts matchbox. This is the... Pontiac Grand Prix with the opening doors has kind of that uh, deep purple color to it. Probably not the craziest one in the collection, but I just wanted to show it off because it's such a cool casting. <laughs> Can't help myself. All right, uh, next one. This one I believe is a Cadillac. I can't remember what the year it was. I want to say 59, but that's probably wrong. This is a crazy casting for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, the color is just crazy and the pinstriping on it. And I don't know if it's going to come through well on the camera, but it's almost a chameleon color uh, paint job. It just looks probably kind of a, a orangey red on the camera, but I'm going to bring it up close and see if you can see the iridescence in the paint job. Let me focus. See that iridescent color in the paint job? That is just crazy on that paint. The pinstripe is not that detailed. Probably looks a little better from the distance than up close. It's got the gold lace wheels, you know, but the other thing that makes this crazy is look how narrow that is. Let me compare it to uh, the Grand Prix that I just had. Look at how much wider the Grand Prix is. <laughs> this cat and it's so long too. Let's see if I can uh, get them both in there. Look how much longer the Cadillac is. That's just crazy. But uh, anyway, that's a Hot Wheels casting. Name's not on the bottom, but I'm pretty sure that's a Cadillac. Uh, here's another Cadillac. Uh, again, lace wheels. Crazy detail on the uh, Tampo work on it. Let me bring that up there where you can see it. Look at that. Don't often see that. Of course, then it has this kind of purple color. Again, there's some iridescence to it. Let's see if I can get the light to to show up. It just doesn't quite work on camera, I don't think, with this color as well as the other one did. But uh, white interior. Um, <laughs> nothing really as far as... Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah. A custom 59 Cadillac. Look at those wheels in the back. They've got the full fender skirt on it so you can hardly see the wheel but it is a, a gold lace wheel on the back too and they're kind of smallish wheels really well I think they are yeah maybe not maybe they're the same size as the other one and it's just that they're up in the fender makes them look small all right next one with the crazy paint job I have reviewed this casting in the past this is the Hot Wheels beat all or beetle Depends on how you want to call it. This one is kind of uh, fashioned, it's a fantasy casting fashioned after a rhinoceros beetle, which is what gives it kind of this uh, distinctive nose in the front here. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to go into the details, but I'll put a, a link up here to, uh, to that show. But anyway, this also is kind of iridescent, uh, which I think they were able to accomplish because of the the plastic that they used on the exterior on the uh, the top. Just look at that pink color. It changes as the light hits it. Crazy color. All right, this one, uh, I don't know the name of this, but I should. I don't, but I should. Look at the metal flake on it. I'll put it on the turntable first so you can you can watch it sparkle before your eyes. And it matches our logo really good, too. <laughs> that, was, that was an accident. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's got the five dot wheels, but just look at the metal flake in that. Look at the sparkle on that. Here, get the focus in there. Actually, almost looked better when it wasn't in focus. But look at all that. That is a crazy paint job. This top comes off. I prefer not to take it off because it's kind of hard to put back on. But the, the kids every once in a while decide to pull that off. All right, here's another one, like a day glow pink color here. Let me put it on the turntable first. So that is the um, S10. Well, it's based on an S10. Let me uh, flip the bottom up and tell you exactly what the casting is called. 1998 Pro Stock Chevy S10. I knew it was an S10. Seems like it sits crooked. I wonder why that is. I don't think that's the turntable. See, look at that. It sits crooked. What's going on there? What is going... Oh, wow. There is something seriously wrong with that casting. I don't know if you can see it on camera very well. I think my hand's getting in the way. But there is definitely the wheels on one side. Definitely go down. Oh, something's going on there. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let me see if I can show it to you. See the base? See that there's a gap there on the base? I don't know if you can see it because of that chrome. It really makes it hard to see. Right here, there's like a lip. It's stopping my tool from moving over. But if I come to this side, there, there's not nearly as much of a gap. It's almost like the base is tweaked or something. Or maybe it's the, I don't know, maybe it's the top, the body. Anyway, well, there's something seriously wrong with that casting. Oh, well, it's cool casting anyway. Crazy color. All right, let's move along here. Love this Jeep. What is this Jeep called again? I thought it said it on the bottom of what it was. Nope, guess not. I can't remember what that's called. I want to say it's a Commando, but I don't think that's right. Anyway, it's a Jeep truck. That is a cool casting, but look at that green. It is an iridescent green. Let me pull that up so you can get a closer look at that. See if it, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it, it almost is a chameleon color where it changes, shifts color as you move it. It's really cool. All right, moving on, we have Super Stinger. This is a crazy color scheme on this. This is another uh, fantasy model that's based on a creature, uh, Stingray. I really like the lines on that car. I've got two samples of that. I'll put another one up there. Same colors. Amazing color on that car. Love the base. Love the wheels. It all goes together really well. Sometimes they don't all come together quite right, I think, when they use those crazy colors. But I think this this one, for the colors that they used, I think they all came together really well. All right, what do we got? Coming down to the end here. I should know what this casting is called, but I can't remember what that casting is called. It's the only one that I have, the only sample that I have. But they've been making this one for a while. The thing about this, one is the color. I and mean, it's almost the same color as the handle on my tool here. So it's this crazy day glow orange color. But then it's got, on top of that, it's got a gold window, gold motor, gold wheels, and a gold base. <laughs> a went crazy with the gold on this one. I really like this casting, though. I like the color on it. I'll throw it back up there so you can enjoy it without my hand in the way. All right, two more castings to go if you're still hanging out with me. All right. Let's do uh, the Ferrari 348. There you go. This is a crazy color. This is such a crazy pink color. Compare that to the uh, pink Jeep here. It's such a different... I think it's supposed to be red, if I understand correctly, but it does not look red. Maybe it looks red compared to that pink Jeep, but in person it does not look red. I have another... Uh, sample of that. Let me just move that over a little bit. I have a yellow sample of that one. 
Uh, the pink one's got the ultra hot wheels and then the yellow one has the three blade wheels. So they're both probably from the 90s. Uh, the yellow one's a little bit more what you would expect probably from a Ferrari. But still, great casting. The other thing I thought was strange about this, let me bring this one up here, because the yellow one's not really a crazy casting. I just color, I just brought it up for comparison. Uh, is the, the plastic piece in the back. And again, I don't know if this is going to show up properly on camera or on your video because there's a lot of calibration issues between you know, my camera and your screen. But this plastic piece here, let me get my fingernail out. This plastic piece here, this strip, this is red. This is what I would call red right here. And when I compare this to this, these two colors look very different in person. Now, I don't know if they look very different on screen. But in person, this is definitely red, and this is very much oh, like a hot pink color. And so it's almost like something went wrong with the paint color. Like they were going for this color here, and they ended up with this somehow. And even the overspray, if you look, let's see if I can get it to focus here, on this area in here. It's almost like they, they just got some light spray on. Because you can see some white peeking out, as if that was the the base coat or the primer or something. So I wonder if it just didn't get enough paint applied to it, and it's why it almost makes it look more pink. There, you can kind of see the whites peeking through on that too. But anyway, otherwise it's a, a great cast, and of course I love the hot, Ultra Hot Wheels. And the final one, you may not think it's crazy when I first put it up there. Is this casting here? This is a, a Hot Wheels front loader, but you don't see big equipment very often with Hot Wheels. This thing is heavy. This is a heavy casting. And at first it looks pretty subdued. Well, what's, what's so special about these colors? Well, think for a moment about a piece of equipment on a construction site. You are not going to see a piece of equipment painted like this on a construction site. I think that's what makes the paint color on this crazy and why I love this casting like somebody wanted to soup up their front loader here so for one you've got flames on it which is just awesome it says 527 construction on the side let's see what it says on the base it just says wheel loader and then look at the look at the uh, red paint it may not have shown up before but that has metal flake in it you see the sparkle that is a metal flank paint job. Can you imagine seeing something like this on a construction site? <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> anyway, those are the uh, craziest cars that I have paint job wise in my collection. Let me get the turntable out of the way here. Let me show you those cars again in no particular order. Great bunch of cars, amazing paint colors on those cars. So much fun. Enjoy collecting. Thanks for watching.